Oh, I'm key. I'm excited. He tino he kaka ho nati me a pai te mahi, pai te kai papa. Kia ora, ko Ashley Nathan talk ingoa no na puhi me tai nui a ho. I just started my Te Reo Māori journey, so mehe mea ka he ka hapa hoki kei te pai he fakatoki ma te he ka ako. For me, the series is about showcasing Māori people, the skills that they have, me te whakaaro, me te āhua o ngā pākehi Māori, creating awareness for how awesome our people are, and really ultimately help change the perception of people out there towards Māori people, because man, we all! <laughs> One of my good friends put a post up on Facebook saying, we're looking to collaborate with Māori artists, tag some people that are out there. And um, Phoenix was tagged in and started talking to my bro. He was in Whangarei, he had a graphic design company. So I just jumped in the comments and go, yo bro, like we're coming up to Whangarei next week. If you're keen to call it all and keen to talk about your kaupapa, let's go. Today we're gonna go catch up with Jamil Ruka, who owns Common Grounds Fitness, and Nifa Creative's owner Phoenix Ruka, who are brothers. In the chat, we're gonna call it all about what they do and how they work together to do it. Kia ora tātou, uh, ko Phoenix Ruka tēnei, uh, ai ko te kaihoe o te waka ngātou ki mata whaurua, e mi atu ki a koutou. Ko Jamil Ruka tōku ngoa, uh, no te hukianga me manga kahi a hau. So I co-own Nifa Creative, Nifa Creative, .co.nz. Um, Common Grounds Fitness, I'll go down into it. <laughs> Me and a friend of mine, uh, called Marcia Hupa Ia. She's the other director. It's a creative space, so we do um, branding, first and foremost, website design, uh, videography, and some photography stuff. But the goal is for it to be an umbrella for my mate who's an artist, or my friend who's a singer. Um, we try and employ or pay our whanau as much as we can every time, you know, big jobs come in, because that's the point of it, you know? The point of it is not for me to make money by myself. Um, if I got $10, we all got $10. <laughs> the fact that they could pull on each other's skills and talents and use each other's skills and talents, like for example, Phoenix did the design work for Common Grounds Fitness. Our gym is called Common Grounds Fitness and the Fakaro is just around it's family first and then the fitness pass comes second. And so we have a, a whakaaro on our wall that we follow and that's he taura punga heke. Then it just talks about um, taking our learning from our tūpuna and being able to hand it on to our uri. And for us it's about whakapapa and whakapapa really is generational well-being. Not just well-being for yourself, um, not just weight loss, not just abs. It's mental resilience and, and, a, and a physical resilient body that's just ready for life, you know? And we didn't actually start off in this gym. We kind of went into um, you know, basketball courts, out in the park, wherever we could find to just train together as whanau. But we started inviting more others and they noticed the difference in terms of their body movement and how they could move. Um, and then, yeah, from there, we're like, man, we need our own space, eh? Because we're limited. What was cool about Jamil's gym was the look and the feel. Before we were in this space, it used to be um, a brothel. There was poles in here and <laughs> there was like mirrors on the roof and there was like a dirty spa pool that we all, you know, because we did all the renovations, so. Um, but we cleaned it all out and now, you know, now it is what it is, but yeah. But, so if you knew about what it was before we got here, um, <laughs> No, it's changed, it's changed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We weren't really a, um, a wealthy whanau, you know, we grew up in a kind of gang um, community, but our parents always try to look to get out of that environment eh, and break that, that typical um, stereotype of Māori being in gangs and drinking alcohol, all that stuff. And The narrative for successful Māori is if they've got a job, then they're successful, you know. Um, but we're saying that you are, um, as a Māori, you can be excellent, you know. One of them grew up and didn't know how to speak English or write English till he was 12, and the other one didn't know how to call it all Māori. I wasn't brought up in Te Reo. Um, I went through mainstream kura, 
But my brother went to through Kura Kaupapa and Afatiroa. Because I didn't know how to learn or read until I was about 12. Um, and then the bro was, you know, had no deal at all. But we were always still brought up in Te Ao Māori and Tikanga Māori, uh, Whakaaro Māori. It shaped us. And that really stuck with me because both of those journeys have their different pros and cons, but to see them sitting in front of me, both kōrero Māori, both kōrero Pākehā. Ah. I um, 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 Poho kereru a hau ki te tū i te taho tōku teina, i nei ki te kōrero, uh, yeah. They're two brothers, uh, successful people, owning their own businesses, looking forward to the future, looking forward to the prospects, doing all this mahi. Um, that's a great representation for me of successful Māori men. And I think that that needs to be represented more in the media and what we create. Just any advice I would give to whānau is that um, don't wait for the stars to perfectly align before you before you action this idea that you have in your mind. It's about taking your skills and knowing that your skills and your knowledge is worth something. Taking every opportunity with anyone you meet, um, build those relationships with them, um, connect with them, and um, yeah, we're all about for Māori, by Māori. Nā te Māori, mō te Māori, koira te tino, you need to know here here on my Māori. Um, aye.